we're going to be doing a clean with me while grieving. It doesn't matter where you are in your journey or what type of grief that you're experiencing, whether that be loss of a loved one or loss of a job, a boyfriend. In all these cases, it is grief and there are things that you can do to feel better today or to feel better tomorrow. Sometimes one of the best things you can do is just self-care and for me the ultimate self-care is cleaning up what I can see. Another thing is obviously exercise but I do realize that exercise is not always your first instinct. You might not feel like getting up and working out but cleaning, organizing, and getting your stuff together forces you to move in a way that you're getting two things done in one blow. And if you just don't feel like being productive per se, taking a walk outside can help a lot as well. Or getting your hands in some soil, like for me, in terms of like repotting and stuff like that really helps elevate my mood. I was a bit nervous about posting this video because it's not aesthetic or anything like that, but you know what? It's real life and <laughs> real life isn't always so beautiful uh, in that it is absolutely aesthetically pleasing the way that we see things online and heavily curated, but rather the beauty is in the growth and the change and you cannot appreciate the good without experiencing the bad and that is just kind of the mentality that we're going to go into this today okay it's a chaotic mess i know my bag my mail the plants okay but this is not even the worst part my kitchen is a mess let's not get into that i gotta clean that uh i gotta put laundry away and you know when you prepare to go out somewhere and you prep a bag and you throw everything around. Yeah, that's what's happened here. Obviously this towel is dry because this is from my Friday shower. Oh, you guys, this is what my day is going to be spent doing. Oh. But first I need to make coffee because one must do what they must do. didn't put enough water in the filter. All right, while well, I wait for the water to go down the filter, I guess I'll just put away as much as I can. Gosh, this weekend though, I'm telling you guys, I was just such in such a rancid mood. Does that happen to anyone or am I just wild? Um, <laughs> like you're having an existential crisis. And you're like, what am I even doing with my life? Why is my quote unquote career so pointless? Ugh. Anyways, I digress. Like that is a story of life, isn't it? Sometimes when you're not really doing what's in your purpose, which is, you know, not always possible. Let's be honest, because life is life thing. I don't need to run this the whole time. I'm the type of person I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person who like pre-scrub and then I'll rinse and then while I go over and rinse, I'll feel if there's any texture or if anything feels oily or dirty and then I'll do a once over. It's the first time I'm using the Rode Wireless Go for a video like this with my cell phone. Um, for those who don't know, I got an admin job when my mom was sick. I was actually unemployed prior to that and I spent the majority of my time just kind of figuring out how to spread money to address our bills. Like a combination of her savings and just like the little bit of sick leave that you get for three months. Make sure that her medication was being bought and that she, I was taking her to her appointments and everything. And then I had a job fall in my lap, which thank God, honestly, I was gonna be screwed otherwise. And so then I had remote work and then my remote job turned into a partially remote job. And essentially I just feel like I've outgrown the place where I am. How do I get out of there and actually get into a field that I'm interested in because being an assistant isn't it, is not it. Well, I mean, it's good for people who like it. And so yeah, I've been quite angsty 
and not feeling great about myself and where I am and all that jazz. But I do consider it an opportunity. Like when you get comfortable somewhere and if you don't feel uncomfortable, you won't change. So there's that. Oh, I think I have to do this with like Ajax or something. Ajax or Comet, Comet, that's the one. My filtered water has gone down so that I can make my coffee and make myself a little breaky because I'm actually hungry. All right, coffee time. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Ah, shit. Whatever, I do have to vacuum. That's another thing. Like I've been putting off vacuuming because I keep saying, oh, I got plant chores to do, but I can't. I can't because I'm all I'm going to do them whether I need to vacuum or not. So I just have to be more careful. Let's fill this up. Put that on strong because I need it strong. The other thing I really got to do is disinfect my counter. These are, are they clean? I don't think so, actually. I think I made squash in this. That's why it's like this. And I didn't really even like the way that it came out, honestly. Sometimes I just really miss the way that my mom made certain dishes and maybe I didn't pay attention to everything that she made. So now I'm like, oh, where's my comfort food? But when I'm able to make some of the things, you bet your darn butt I make it because some of the meals that we used to have together bring me a lot of comfort. Disinfection. This is a solution of distilled bleach, like very distilled. And I just wipe my counters down with this. And just a regular cloth. I should be doing this with gloves, but you know, your girl, your girl likes to feel the burn. Well, it's not gonna burn. I wash my hands immediately after. Et voila. I'm telling you, when the kitchen is dirty, it honestly just makes the whole place feel like a disaster. Uh, I'll put this here. So much better. Okay, I spent hours editing. I threw the clothes onto the ottoman, so I'm just pretending it's tidy by showing you this little snippet. Before I tackle the mess that is my bedroom, I'm going to take a really nice shower because I just need to. I went out and got takeout and I continued editing a different video. Sometimes I just won't interrupt myself when I get into the flow of doing something. But now I, I have to do this because it's approaching bedtime. Here we go, let me get the light on so that we can actually see what we're doing. I had to put a little sweater on so that I could even clip on my mic. And I folded everything and put it in my dresser and I folded my panties too. About decluttering, um, clothing decluttering. I've been a bit skittish on that because I'm slow when the seasons change and I've gained 25 pounds back. And I've noticed that lately, rather than being focused on how I spend my professional life and like the quality of it, and rather than thinking about my health, I have been thinking more about my home, decluttering, but I think that my first priority actually should have been working out and getting back into shape because that gives you clarity of mind. Let me put these things away and not just be talking at you. That offers you clarity of mind, get things done. And I've already told you professionally, I'm not exactly happy where I am. But you feel it, like you feel it when you're not doing what you should be doing. And fitness wise, well, to look better is to feel better, to have better cardiovascular health, to be eating better so that your emotions are better managed. Um, a lot of things, right? I started to notice that my work clothes were fitting me tighter than before. I don't like that. Like, I don't wanna have to buy new clothes to go into an office only two days a week. That's why I wear the same thing all the time. 
actually I kind of already always wore the same thing all the time because I would just have a seasonal rotation just to facilitate my life in the morning, pick out the clothes that I wanted to wear and just keep recycling and regurgitating the same outfit formula because honestly, who cares? In short, I don't regret the decluttering, even the plants, honestly, because I find it really meditative to put your hands in soil and actually take care of something, have the patience to watch it thrive that's where I've seen the benefit from plants, but I have gotten a bit compulsive with like the shopping and everything. Fortunately, the markets and all that jazz, they're not going to be with great plants anymore because the season for indoor plants is kind of over pretty much. Like all the outdoor markets are done. Sorry, you know what happened? My Insta360 flow just died. Sometimes I use this bathing suit as a bra top. Breaking the rules, my friends. There are some plant supplies that I want to get so that I can work on my plant channel. I've been having a lot of fun with that. I think it's important to just obviously still have fun, but I have to set more time aside for job hunting, which I've done a bit for the last little while. And prospecting, journaling, I'm not going to make my bed perfectly. Sorry, not sorry. Like there's kind of no point because it's already late. I just want to make sure that the sheets aren't all tangled. Does anyone else do that? I really thought we were going to be 15 degrees from now on. Celsius guys. I'm Canadian. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> when you make your bed. Half arsed. Mm. Sleeping is going to be so good tonight. I forgot. I also have the stuff here that I need to fold. Let's put this somewhere it won't fall. Let's get this out of the way. Ay -ay. So I've got more clothes to put away. Yay. This is a hanger top. I'm not going to bother folding that. Pajamas. I think my drawers are going to be too full. Some of these are... I mean, this is all clothing I've washed, so it means that I have been wearing it lately. So I don't have any qualms about putting it back into the closet or into my room. But other things in this bedroom are things that are either out of season or... Uh, I should probably get rid of this Jacob t-shirt because I think it has a mark on it. Let me look at it again. See, this is where we're at. Yeah, it just looks like kind of stained and oldish, even though the material feels nice. I don't want to be wearing things I don't really like on camera, which is... Oh, okay, good. I washed this because it smelled stale. It's a pajama dress. Kind of like a nighty. Or what do they call them? Man, there's a word for this on the internet. Okay, all of these are things I've worn recently, like I said, and anything that's kind of stained or doesn't look up to par needs to go. Because then I end up wearing it and then I go, oh, I, I look like a slob and I can't film. and Or I have to change or think about what to wear when I film. And I'd rather just be like up and ready to go. Like I'm not going to say this Honduras pajama is necessarily flattering, but at least it's new. I wear this dress really often. It was actually my mom's in the 90s or the early 2000s from Gap. And this is vanity sizings because there's no way that that's a size 2 or a 4. It's, def it's definitely a size 6 or an 8. Editing the footage and looking back and like, oh my gosh, my stomach, you guys, was not like that before. <laughs> it was not like that before. What has happened? I've really let go of myself during the time that I was basically mourning my mom. Because while I was taking care of her, I thankfully was actually taking care of myself more so that I could take care of her. And now it kind of feels like I don't need to do as much. I'm not in survival mode anymore. I might have a bad day or two, but then I get back on my feet and I kind of just pick myself up. But it's a combination of things. It's not just the loss that I incurred, but kind of the point I am in my life. 
I think it's important to say, I don't think anyone should have any hard expectations on themselves. Like the older I get, the more I realize the less we have our stuff together. Um, Cause like, it's a fantasy. I did a lot of traveling. So I was also able to freelance for years and basically not have to, not have to live a stereotypical adult life for the longest time and lived pretty freely, like the way that I wanted to and the way that my mom kind of brought me up to as well. Cause she used to say, she wished she could have gone out more. She wished she could have traveled more. I did all the things that she wished she could have done in her youth and I brought her along with me. There's something that not a lot of people have in their relationships in general. In short, this is why I feel like you can't really compare your life and where you are in it to other people because everybody has different burdens. While some people might have their finances totally together, they might be estranged from their parents or they might have had some other kind of trauma to deal with in their life and you'll never know exactly what it is. And life does that. This is what I would have liked to have heard after my breakup before the pandemic and before my mom received her diagnosis of cancer because I think I was just so preoccupied with things that really didn't matter and now I still stress myself but it's in a different way it's kind of like well I like kind of check myself and I'm like okay I'm sad about this now but this is not happening currently or this isn't something I'm fixing right now or it doesn't have to be resolved this minute for me to actually be able to survive the next few hours and that's kind of the mentality that I've adopted and it's made things easier because otherwise I would be in my head all the freaking time, which is the worst. Is it perfect? No. Can I work with it? Hell yeah. I really did vacuum. <laughs> I passed the vacuum por donde pasa la suegra, as they say in Spanish, which means cleaning all the places where a visitor would see or like your mother-in-law would see and not actually a perfect cleanup, just enough to give you that visual satisfaction that things are actually clean. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. I do a lot of decluttering videos and I do some beauty, some lifestyle. I am currently going through grief, so I feel like I have some helpful tips that you may or may not resonate with. And I would love to have you be a part of this community. So I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye.